Okay, so we're going to talk about Raylos again. Because it's really funny. A lot of outlets are coming out of the woodwork to defend them and kind of rise them up. It's really strange to me. But the biggest thing was this shill piece by Nerdist I want to go over. Let me go over what happened, though. John Boyega, the legend, the man, who plays Finn in New Trilogy. Uh, even if you don't like the character, <laughs> I, I like John Boyega a lot. Because he's just been not caring for a while now. And he's really been slamming on the Raylos. Really been slamming on them. And it's been funny to watch. He just don't care. <laughs> he just doesn't care. Uh, I did a video on him about a week or so ago when he was slamming on Raylos. And he just did it again. So he posted this on his Instagram account. Take a look. So what that was were responses to the outrage from when he was making those jokes about Raylo. He's talking about, you know, I'm the one laying the pipe or whatever and uh, messing with the Raylos. And they got all upset and uh, they were calling him a misogynist and all that stuff. And then he's like, you're still an idiot. It was really epic. This is his response. <laughs> this is his response to that, which I thought was very, very lovely. It's funny, the, the Raylos, this is the audience that Disney wants and it seems the shill sites have never covered them, by the way. And they've done a lot of nasty, nasty stuff. Which brings me here. Because, of course, the shills are going to come out. This is actually a response to a BuzzFeed article. And in that article, it was all about fan misinformation. It's literally, you know, a shill, you know, a shill, a shill article, of course. It's from bottom BuzzFeed. And in that article, they were talking about how, you know, fans are, are disagreeing. It's so wrong. Why don't they just love corporate Disney? They need to love Disney. Pretty much. That was, that was pretty much the, the gist of it. But actually, in that article, they actually mentioned toxic Raylo shippers. And I was kind of surprised to see that in there, at least. Uh, it was one of the few times they've actually smeared Raylos. Because usually, these places don't do that. Uh, they, like coddle these people like they're special and great people and that they're that they're not toxic when literally they've done nasty nasty stuff and i'm going to show you again in case you've missed those videos i did and they've literally i did a video like two weeks ago about how they were harassing adam driver's family uh, they've tried to break up his wife and him and they want daisy ridley and him to be a real life couple uh, there's some weird stalker chick that came to his uh, event that he was doing one time and brought him a wood carving of his dog. Very, very strange people, Raylo shippers. And Nerdist here, another out-of-touch, finger quotes, geek website, very out-of-touch, another bastion of Bay Area uh, journalists is what this is. So because BuzzFeed decided to make... And it was literally like maybe three sentences about Raylos. Uh, this person over at Nerdist wrote this big, long article about how Raylos are so great. They're, they're very good for the fandom. The origins of Raylo, the backlash to Raylo. Raylos don't deserve hate. So she wrote this, by the way, as a response to those three sentences in the BuzzFeed article. Uh, this is to a three-sentence mention in that BuzzFeed article. Uh, she writes all of this. <laughs> you don't think that's weird? That's weird, okay? And this is the this is the problem. The Raylos are weird. And here's what was funny. So she writes about the origins of Raylo, like anybody cares. The backlash, how people find it cringy. And then Raylos don't deserve hate. So she goes on to defend them here. Now, what I found funny is she takes a big problem with fandom menace. So, good old Data Racer 117 and Ichibaka did a lot of legwork and pretty much exposed the Raylo community. And it's funny, like, 
she gets all upset about this here and says, okay, there are other ways to read the ending and many fans found power in it. That's the beauty of film, that it's entirely subjective. But in their profession of disappointment, the Raylos once again become a punching bag for the fandom at large. A recent BuzzFeed article compared the Raylos, how the way the Raylos reacted to the rise of Skywalker to the way the fandom menaced a trolling, abusive, anti-Disney group, hate group, reached, reacted to The Last Jedi. Now, what's funny is they never mentioned Fandom Menace in that BuzzFeed article, which I thought was humorous. But of course, uh, people who have never done anything like the Raylos have done, people that just like to, you know, bring awareness and talk about how Disney sucks. Well, for some reason, well, you know the story, istophobes, all that stuff. Uh, I don't think they've ever done stuff like this, like the time where they doxed Adam Driver and his wife and posted their address and all kinds of stuff. And like I told you before, sending those wooden dog, sending that wooden dog to him. Tons of stuff that's been captured. This where they were making fun of Adam Driver's wife. Like, yeah, okay. Let, they're such great people, aren't they, nerdist? Wonderful people. Let's not forget this either. Then, of course, we can't forget about these lovely tweets about the things the Raylos were saying to J.J. Abrams because, well, Ben Solo didn't survive the end of the movie. As she says in that article that they just they just had a little, they were just a little upset. They were a little upset. They didn't really say any of those things. It was the fandom menace person that posted those tweets. She's talking about Data Racer 117. But doesn't acknowledge or even talk about uh, the kind of stuff that was said in the tweets. I think they're pretty damning. <laughs> they're not very good. I mean, you could see for yourself. All you got to do is pause the video, and you've been able to read them all. And I find this pretty disgusting. It's not like one or two of these people. There's literally probably thousands of them out here doing this stuff. But that's okay. Uh, they're a, a wonderful thing for the community. Then, of course, we have their reactions from when they watched it. This isn't them going after Adam or Daisy or JJ, this is just legit reactions to how they felt. Like, my boyfriend really called me to tell me to grow up because it's just an effing movie and I'm sobbing from hatred. Oh my God. And there's more, tons more. I'll go ahead and go through them real quick. You can pause as needed. But yeah, so these people are the, are the real fans, the real, the real treasures of the Star Wars community. And they should be appreciated accepted and loved you really should have included those tweets in this article to be fair but i mean what what are they going to do you know they're not going to do that they they want Raylos to be loved it's it's you watching this video you're the real toxic fan you need to leave Raylos should be embraced and loved and forgiven <laughs> so like I said, this response, and this is a long article, all for those three sentences, that in itself is kind of strange. It's like, and that article just came out yesterday. It's like, I got I to gotta get, get out there right now and write. <laughs> and it's very knowledgeable, uh, very boring as well. I'll link it in the description if you want to read it. But yeah, Raylos are, are very, very strange and toxic. They've done a lot of toxic things for the past couple of years, the way that they've treated Adam Driver is despicable, and it's it's really sad that none of these outlets have decided to cover that. It's almost like it doesn't fit their narrative. Huh. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, Hail John Boyega, legend, national treasure. And make sure you leave a comment, like the video, share the video, hit that notification bell, make sure you're still subscribed, Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.